Yes, somewhere here in Farmingdale, old world craftsmen strive relentlessly to forge gleaming slabs of purest program. They do it not for money, but for the satisfaction of people named Gunther. Alas, poor Gunther. I knew him well. Gunther! A story about a man who died long before the story began. Glucose Intolerant Films presents Gunther, a tender story about the severed head of a burnout pedophile and the slightly satanic boy who heard it speak at night, Gunther. Evil. left in a field so I can rot. I don't want anyone to move me because it's educational for kids to come see a dead rotting fat guy. You know, also when I die you could prop my body up in a shooting gallery like a rifle range and just have all my relatives come and shoot me and just keep shooting the body till it just turns into pulp. Yes, it's time for horror, fright, agitation. Father Christmas, Father Time, my own abusive father, and yes, finally, Father Dracul. Salutations, or, as they say in the common American vernacular, Hi. I'm Bert Langshear. You may remember reading about Father Dracula in Reader's Digest, Weekly Readers, or The Enthusiastic Reader, or in my own book, entitled Father Dracula. Strange? Perhaps. Scary? Arguably. But we must not overlook the strong moral fiber in the Classic movie, Father Dracula. I basically, through film, I wanted to make nothing happen, and it did, repeatedly. Uh, generally, over and over. Nothing kept happening at such a frightening rate that even myself, I had to edit it out, you see. The man who played Dracul was very good, so good in fact, that we paid him to do it slightly less uh, prolifically or efficiently, as it were. Uh, Joseph Cohn did pay for the rehabilitation of the lead performer, sadly no longer with us. Now this sequence here, this religious motif, is as close to symbolism as I get. Generally I prefer the tambourine. The original portrait from the movie Father Dracula, in which on the wall Father Dracula passes his own spooky image. The bone chilling artifact can be found on eBay. First bid, $15.
with this film, I had finally broken through the barriers of meaninglessness. It was my manifesto. I had founded immaterialism, and it hasn't mattered since. Immaterialism, you say? I was its only adherent. I didn't make a film for about 17 years after that. I got a job on a boat, making sailors happy. It passed the time. Pure magnificence. All hail Father Dracula! Then we will go into the world. If you want to see it, you will have to use the name of the text. I wasn't so much scared as I was touched, but three drops of pee did come out. I'm as frightened as a rabbit under the threatening glare of a bobcat. Boom! Uh, this sequence was supposed to be science uh, discovering and uh, predicting the horrors of Dracul. We could not afford to superimpose Dracula's head onto the orb or globe. I prefer orb. <laughs> And here is final victory of Dracul over science, uh, which was forced upon us by government. Uh, we had to put in message of government into the film if we wanted to have it made. Like all movies, Father Dracul came to an end. <laughs> we'll be right back with more interesting little tidbits on Antwerp Hurtast, Father Dracul.